Buenos dias, fellow gamers. My name is How are you guys doing today? I do have another banger video for you. And this time it's about... Well, actually, I think there's something wrong with the camera. Let me adjust that real quick. <laughs> there we go, dude. Oh, what a time to be a Warframe player. What a time to be alive. Just look at this Amber Halem skin. Oh, dude, it's... It's, it's so beautiful. Plus, also, we have the AX-52 Assault Rifle, so that's what this video is going to be about. Enjoy. You like Warframe and always wanted an AK-47 Assault Rifle? Now's the time. Okay, now for the big question. How do you actually obtain this weapon? Well, it's actually very simple. You just head to Warframe.com, you just link your accounts, and also there's something else that I need to show you. To make sure it's linked correctly, you go to your Twitch, you go to Settings, you go to Connections, and then you scroll down and you should see Warframe somewhere. As you can see, it's linked here. So if you have it linked here on other connections, you are pretty good to go. And you should be able to receive that drop without a problem. Also, um, they're not just giving away the rifle right now. They're also giving away the Saren Prime. So uh, if you're not watching the live stream, what are you waiting for? Also, if you did buy the Barrow ticket, you have access to Barrow's Tenocon Relay. So let's quickly go down and I'll show you. Once you landed in the relay, you're going to see that Barukteer is going to stand here and he's going to have everything that he ever sold. All the Prime mods, all the cosmetics, literally everything. So while you can, make sure you get there. You have like six or seven days. Let's get to it. Let's get to the build. But first, can we take a moment to just appreciate the skin? It just, it just, it's just, no, dude, it's just, it just, I can't even speak, it just looks too good. That's, that's how good the skin is, it just leaves me speechless. Anyway, let's proceed to the build, the AK-47 slash AX-52. So it comes with a unique trait. If you fire from the hips, you have a 60% ammo efficiency. If you aim with headshots, you have a 100% critical chance. Pair that with primary deadhead and you have a ton of critical damage. I'm pretty sure there's some sick people out there that already have a ribbon for that. I mean, it's it's a one ribbon dispo, so it's not going to be that high, but still. Okay, so when it comes to the mods, what did Bro go for? Actually, pretty simple. Serration for damage under munitions to apply slash when you hit a critical. Always very necessary on crit weapons, if you ask me. High voltage and malignant force for corrosive. Argon scope for crit chance while aiming. This also pairs well with the unique trait. You can also go for bladed rounds if you just prefer the critical damage on kill while aiming. Vital sense, of course, for critical damage. Critical delay, of course, for that critical chance. And of course, galvanized chamber for multi-shot. Um, always one of the most important mods that you need on any weapon. Hands down. For the Exilus mod, we do have Vigilante Supplies to just convert ammo and also have that juicy amount of 20% critical chance. As you can see, I did mod for Corrosive. If you want this to be even more devastating and dangerous, you should equip Emerald Archon Shards. Note, they don't have to be tall forged. Having two normal green shards equipped already strips all of the armor. Combine that with Nourish and you have Corrosive, you have Viral, and you're good to go. Okay, time to show something in the simulacrum. 20 corrupted heavy gunners, steel path. Let's go. As you saw in the build, we have primary merciless. Now we don't have any buff, okay? We don't have any buff. We just need to kill them first to get that merciless damage. So what you can do, uh, as shown in the build, with the unique trait, you can either fire like that, and you're gonna see, you're gonna shoot a lot of bullets, but the critical chance is not that high. So what you can do, um, and that combines well, repairs well, uh, rather, with the Argon Scope mod, you can aim and you have an insane critical chance. Look at that. Like, I don't have any critical chance buffs. You can further enhance that. You can equip any Sentinel. The most important thing is that you have the Bull Clock equipped, as this is a Sentinel weapon with the most critical chance. So what you do, you put a lot of Vigilante mods on there, and then boom, you have a ton of crit chance. But believe me, watch this. We're gonna go over there. As nourish. I mean, the crit chance you're getting is, is freaking insane, dude. Just watch how fast this enemy is gonna die. Like, he didn't even have a chance. Just look, dude. What? <laughs> if you want to have even more critical chance, there's a video. Um, the link is in the description down below if you want to check that out. I made a Frost Prime video, so make sure to click on that. Either way, there's one Frost Augment. It's called Biting Frost. Frost gains 200% critical chance and 200% critical damage against frozen enemies. Well, so basically, if you freeze them, and if you also have Nourish, you're gonna see something wild, dude. Like... How many bullets is that per enemy? Two? I don't think that's even fair, dude. 
And now and imagine that's... you have a Wisp or something like that in your team that boosts the fire raid. Or an Arcane maybe, that boosts the fire raid as well. It's gonna be insane, dude. What about some Corrupted Heavy Gunner Exodus? Let's see how we do against them. Time for Merge, time for Freeze, and let's go, dude. So, that's like three to four bullets, as you can see, and they're already dead, already dead. You don't have to aim, you have more ammo efficiency, but you have less CC, so I would always aim. Plus, Primary Deadhead is quite nice on that, too. Just look at that, dude. <laughs> this, is, this gun is so cool. I love it, dude. It's great. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna use this gun more often, then. That's gonna do it for this video. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you awesome people in the next one.